Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I have a, a special message today. Uh, want everybody to be aware that America now is $32.6 trillion in debt. Now that's just the national debt that we owe. And also, did you know that the uh, American credit rating was just lowered again? So that makes the, the money that we borrow and the money that we have already borrowed, that makes it more expensive. And the rumor is that one day soon that our interest payment alone will be above a trillion dollars. This is totally, absolutely, totally unsustainable. And it's the politicians that have done this. They've, they've done this to America and they've, they've, they've done it for a reason. They want to do away with our cash. They want to bring in a new digital currency. So they will file bankruptcy. They'll make all of our cash worthless absolutely worthless and these are the last days and all of this all of this it, it, it it's in prophecy it's in prophecy you know it's it's preparing the way for the beasts for the beast system for the antichrist it's preparing the way for him to come on the scene and take over uh, that 32 trillion dollars all of it, all of it will be defaulted on, will be collapsed. And America will default on everything, all of its bills, everything, everything it'll default on. So if you're getting Social Security or retirement from the government or disability or whatever it is, food stamps, um, SNAP, anything like that, anything from the government, one day it'll all disappear. It'll all disappear. So we need to be aware of that. You need to prepare for that. Also, uh, I wanted you to know that in Europe, they have a, what's similar to a Congress. And uh, they have 705 seats. Now, number, seat number 666. That seat has never been occupied. It's never been used. It's reserved. It's reserved. And, and you know for who. And one day soon that seat will be filled. That seat will be filled. And keep in mind that these are the last days and Satan is running to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. And he's working hard. He's working overtime. But keep in mind that the harder Satan attacks you, the greater will be your reward in heaven. So we need to we need to stay strong in the faith. We need to, to pray. We need to humble ourselves because the only thing the only thing that's going to save us out of out of this mess is Jesus Christ. And uh, I just I just want to remind everybody to stay strong in the faith. Stay strong in the faith. Like the last video I made about the tsunami. You know, like when you see the wave coming ashore. And it, you know, it's a figure of speech, no matter what it is, whether it's economic collapse. David Wilkerson, in his dream, in his vision, in his vision, he saw uh, America under economic collapse. And he saw war coming to America. He saw a mighty, massive earthquakes on the West Coast and in, in the central part of America. And he saw tsunamis coming onto the West Coast. So it's not just me that's saying this. David Wilkerson, he, he wrote numerous books about his vision and, and he had a couple visions and uh, uh, David Wilkerson has, has made 
numerous videos. You can you can find them on YouTube. These these are the last days. These are the last days. And I just remind everybody to stay strong in the faith. Turn off your TV and turn on the Word of God. Because there's nothing else that can save us in these last days. Only Jesus can save us now. Nothing else can. There's nothing this world wants. There's nothing in this, this world that, that I want. And there's nothing in this world that I need. I only need Jesus. That's all that I need. If I have Jesus, I have everything I need. So God bless you. And God keep you in his loving arms, just like he held me. Because one day soon, one day soon, we're going home. We're going home. There'll be a great trumpet blast. And then a mighty shout from an archangel. And the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we, which are left alive, we will be caught up to be with Jesus. And wherever he will be is where we will be forevermore. And we will be in paradise in young glorified bodies. And there we will be for all eternity, forever and ever, without end. And we pray that we see you there on that day. Every one of you have been a blessing from God to us. And we love you so very much. And we keep you all in our prayers. God bless you. And God keep you. Amen. We have the Azusa Street open prayer line with no commercials and it is not recorded. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening starting at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time until 9 or the last caller. Now that number is 518-318-7813. So if you or a family member or friend needs prayer, please call then and we will pray for you. Now my co-host, his name is Jamie Carson, and he's a Holy Spirit-filled uh, pastor, and he is a street preacher from North uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And please call, and we will be happy to pray for you. And God bless you, and God keep you, each and every one.